Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad at Premier Leather Craft. This in the dirty, dirty, dirty South is where I lay my head. Now, first off, uh, uh, apologies for not having the tripod set up. I'm using it on another project right now, so I just had to prop the camera up to where the best way it can fit. But we're gonna make this happen. So, but today's video, I want to talk to you guys um, about flashing. Now, flashing has been around. Uh, I don't know the exact number of years, how long flashing has been around, but a lot of crafters use flashing techniques in products uh, or in projects that they want a uniform coloration on the leather. So it works a lot faster than using wool daubers because the wool dauber is only going to cover so much space. So instead of painting the entire project, or especially on large projects, large projects that you want one color application uh, this doesn't work on two-tone products it doesn't work projects it doesn't work on antique projects because of the gel or the paste uh, it only works in liquefied applications to where you want a one solid uniform color now which brings me to projects such as knife sheaths gun holsters wallets um, even purses if you're going to use that one solid color. Now, flashing, the benefits I love about flashing is one, because of the uniform coloration and it's all done at one time. You're not just sitting there wasting a whole bunch of time coloring all of that. Um, but the only defects or none benefits to flashing I don't even think it is a necessary defect, but the only drawback to flashing is the you can't do any other type of applications to that as far as two-tone sprays or uh, doing a two-tone um, uh, uh, antique process or anything like that. That's the only drawback to flashing. But if you guys are into gun holsters, knife sheaths, uh, and, and that's your in your wheelhouse and you want to have one solid uniform color It doesn't affect the carving. It doesn't affect the tooling. It doesn't affect anything in that regard uh, Because you just want that one solid color and you can really speed up your production work a lot by flashing now Let me tell you what flashing is flashing is the soaking of the project into a container of dye. Now there are several containers that you can use, but hold on just a second. You can pick up uh, containers like these uh, at your local Dollar Tree. They're only a buck. Uh, you don't have to get multiple containers. You can just get one um, because after you completed that project, you just take a funnel and then you can pour the dye back into the uh, the bottle. Now. Um, so you don't have to worry about spilling or anything like that, accidents happening or ruining the project or anything uh, of that nature. But um, you can, now if you did, if you do want to have multiple flashing containers, then uh, please understand you're going to be using a the entire bottle of dye on in that one container. So that's only if you guys are mass producing or not mass producing, but if you have a lot of projects and a lot of business to where flashing would be a benefit for you. So let's get off into this. Now, being that I can't tilt this uh, like I do on the tripod, I'm just going to have to pick it up and show you what's happening. So if just say, for instance, you're making a gun holster and now I'm going to use just these simple pair of earrings that I'm making right now. They've already been tooled and ready to go. Um, except for the color. So what I'm going to do uh, and now, if you was making a gun holster or a knife sheath or whatever the project you uh, have going on, you would. Uh, we're going to take that container. Now I'm not going to use any of the other containers. I'm just going to take something simple. You don't have to even go out and buy something. This is just a regular to-go plate from Applebee's, and but just for the purposes of the video, just to show you how this is going to work. Make sure that the container doesn't have any holes in it to, for leakage. Now, I also recommend that you, just for backup, you want to use uh, some type of cardboard uh, or box to put up under the project so it doesn't work. You don't have to worry about spilling. So what I'm going to do is take some dye and I'm going to pour that into my container just enough to fill up the bottom of it to whatever project uh, you're working on. 
Then I'm going to take that particular project and set it inside of my container. And I'm just going to rotate this around to make sure that the entire project gets coated with the dye. Now, it one thing that I love about flashing is, uh, and I think if, if I would have my own, uh, draw my own opinion, this predated lining uh, as far as in leather projects. It predates lining because uh, you guys know, like I know, when you buy a hide of leather, you have the grain side and the flesh side. So instead of um, having the liner put onto the flesh side, they flash the pro project. And I'm just going to show you this because this turned out great. Um, you have the whole entire project flashed on the front, on the grain, and uh, the flesh and the grain side. And now this is, it is fully saturated all the way through the leather. Now the great part, another good part is, um, you have a nice even coloration on that project. A nice coloration. It's all even. It's all flashed and done. And that beat having to go back. And now if it was a large project. Now earrings, not so much. Um, but on larger projects, gun holsters, knife sheaths, so forth, as I said before, it gives that nice even coloration on that. And then all you're going to do after that is take your box. This is a regular old box. And I'm going to set this out. And let it dry naturally. Now, one thing that I would highly also say is do not pre-make or almost finish a project. So no stitching, no sewing, no lacing, any of that. This is all after you have did all of your tooling work, all of your carving work, and everything is out the gate and done uh, as for getting ready to. This is a step I would say getting ready but right before you start to um, uh, sew or stitch because if you do if you stitch or lace first especially if it's a lighter color or uh, um, even the same color that dye is going to soak up especially if you're using fibins if you're using fibins which is an alcohol based dye it's going to dry out it's going to counteract with the um, with, with your, 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 your stitching uh, thread so it's going to counteract to that, and then it also, I believe, it also cause. Now I've even I've never done it because uh, I just knew that much from the um, uh, from doing dye process anyway. Um, but as that dries, then you'll go back, and and once it completely dries, then you go right back, follow that up with the same buffing techniques to get it all buffed out and done, and then you can go back and apply your oil or whatever else you want to do. Then you can go to the process of sewing it or lacing it and getting that project out the game. Hey, I thank you guys for chilling with me these little few minutes. Uh, this again is a simple, a simple technique that can speed up production or speed up the process as far as your dyeing is concerned. It's called flashing. Again, all you need is a container, pour your dye into and set your product in there. And then you want to roll that around and make sure that it gets a nice, even coat of uh, coloration on your project. And then you just set it out to dry. Once it completely absorbs up into the leather, then you just go right back with your buffing to buff off all of the dross. And then you can just keep right on rocking and rolling. Hey, thank you guys for chilling with me these few minutes. I am the Leather Cowboy right here in the Dirty South is where I lay my head. And hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave comments in the comment section. And I can even go further and give you a little bit more information about that. Hey, you guys keep crafting. I'm going to get back to work.